Command Sergeant Major Walter R. Claude, uh, 118th Cavalry in Azusa, California. The San Diego fires was the first time I thought about becoming a Command Sergeant Major. And that was about three years ago. And uh, I never thought it would be uh, part of my career to become a Command Sergeant Major. My highest goal was First Sergeant. No one is more professional than I. I am a non-commissioned officer, a leader of soldiers. Gotcha. Okay. How'd it go out there where your site, site is at? Good. We had it down there. It's probably the best responsibility anybody could have ever asked me to take on. At, at my rank, you're no longer involved with your troops one-on-one. -on -one. You, you now hit an organization where you're taking care of all the soldiers, rather it's 200, 300, or 500. I am proud of the Corps of non-commissioned officers and will at all times conduct myself so as to bring credit upon the Corps, the military service, and my country, regardless of the situation in which I find myself. I will not use my grade or position for pleasure, profit, or personal safety. The relationship I have with my first sergeants is a definite one-on-one -on -one relationship, and uh, it's an open relationship. They can come to me at any point in time at, for anything. The philosophy that I came with here is a hands-off approach. I give out the taskings, we come up with what we need to do, the first sergeants run it, and then of course I always come back and I'll do a back check on everything. And 90% of the time you're, you're golden. It's that 10% of the time that something does fall through the cracks that you need to catch. When you walk down the corridor at the end of the day, it's a good feeling, it really is. Especially when you can look back and see where you made a difference at this level. I will not forget, nor will I allow my comrades to forget, that we are professionals non-commissioned officers, leaders,